Hey guys, welcome back to Mel and Nolan's channel. That sounds odd. Welcome back to our channel, that sounds better. Just chatting with you guys today. Um, I am going to go get hypnotized in about two hours. For a while, I would know that I can suffer awful anxiety. And it has ruined many high, exciting and precious moments in my life. I really, really want to experience this holiday. I really feel like it's something that Nolan and I deserve to go on as a couple and we don't get to go to things as couples. I mean, Sunny is still quite young, so he'll be 11 months when we are going. And yeah, it'll be the first time we've done something together in a long time. So, I don't know. I'm so excited. I generally am so excited, but I'm just nervous, I think. And I'm just gonna go get hypnotized and see if that helps. Um, and hopefully it does, because I'm just sick of feeling so heightened all the time. Like I'm constantly feeling heightened. So I think ever since I've had my fall, I've kind of just gone back up. And um, though that's like through no one else's, no one's fault, but my own, it's just, one of those things that happen, I guess, and it just, I don't know. I just feel like my body doesn't let go of things. So it holds on to these things, and before I know it, my cup is overflowing, and I am just a mess and no use to anyone, especially my husband and my children. Hello. Hello. You got food now, you happy? Yeah? Um. I've had a pretty shitty few weeks, um, waking up during the nights with panic attacks, um, laying in bed wide awake till about 3 a.m. and having to get sleeping tablets just to knock myself out. I obviously can't take this in with me to film the whole experience of it, but um, if I get permission, I will share with you where I go and with things like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. Yeah. Um, I will share with you and let you know how I've gone and how it felt. I am one of those people, so it does worry me that we'll be sitting there and be like, am I hypnotized? Am I hypnotized right now? I don't know if I'm hypnotized. Maybe if I just stop thinking, it might, I don't know, I'll overanalyze the whole thing. But like I said, it worked last time. I just need a reboot. So yeah, I'll let you guys know how we go or how I go and Fingers crossed, it works because I am sick of feeling like poop. Hey, we sick of mummy being cranky all the time? <laughs> Look at you. All right guys, I'll let you know how I go. Bye. When you go to these kind of things, you have to go in there with an open mind. So when Nolan and I quit smoking, when I was pregnant with Indy, we had hypnosis done as well, and we're both still not smoking. And I found that it wasn't easy by all means, like you still had to withdraw from it, and it was it was tricky, but it was okay, and we did it. And that is a very proud, obviously, achievement for Nolan and I. I never thought I'd quit smoking. Um, same with hypnosis, I feel like, well, with the anxiety hypnosis, I feel like if you want to go in there and you want to give it a go and you know you want to do it, I feel like that's when it can work. Does that make sense? So if you just got to go in there for shits and giggles and you're like, oh, it's not going to work, I don't even bother, then I don't know why. Like, there's no point going, um, well, I don't think anyway. I don't know if it would work if your mindset's in the frame that it's not going to work anyway and you just waste your money so i am very open to the whole hypnosis thing i honestly think like a lot of my anxiety issues are from things that have happened in the past and um but i can remember anxiety from being about seven years old so i do feel like they can get into your mind and it can help it doesn't erase anything but it hopefully it will help release certain things and I can probably function as a normal woman who's in her 30s. I'm just sick of feeling like crap. It's such a downer on so many things. Like Nolan wants to get a caravan so bad and 
we have gone to the point where we've bought a caravan and then I've refused to go through with it. I've told Nolan, no, you have to ring up and cancel because I panic so bad about the whole thing. And um, yeah, it just, it sucks. Like Nolan's had to put a lot on hold for me. And it's so, everything's so dependent on how I feel. So I just pretty much, I just want to be better for him and my kids really. Um, not that I'm ever going to be anxiety free because everyone lives with anxiety. I just want it to stop crippling me. And that's where I go. Happy you HQ. And I see Sam and she's great. See how I go. an hour um yeah it was really good sam goes through some things with me at the start what i'm hoping like what are my issues and things like that and then um yeah i feel like i go to sleep which is strange like i've done it before like i've said and um this time when i did it i feel like i went into a deeper sleep or a deeper state i should say than i did last time so it felt good. I've got to go back on Thursday, which is in two days' time. So, we'll see how we go. She seems to think I need to get a few sessions in. I'll keep you up to date and let you know um, how I feel later, I guess. And I've got a recording to listen to before bed. So, I'm just still a little bit dazed. Um, yeah, but now it's time to go home to my kids and no one. And yeah. Thanks for hanging around and watching and following my journey through this because I guess it's an uncomfortable thing to have to watch and I assume watching someone go through something like this isn't exactly um, fun and it can be kind of yeah, just an awkward feeling knowing that someone feels like shit even though they look alright um, but yeah I really appreciate it and I'll keep you up to date Hey guys, so I thought I'd give you a quick update with how I feel today since I had hypnotherapy yesterday. Um, it's a strange thing to explain how I feel because obviously everyone who suffers anxiety, they don't always feel the same. So um, I feel like this video is not going to be a short video from start to finish. I feel like I'm going to have to do another couple over the time to let you know how it's helped. But after having it yesterday, I haven't woken up with that feeling in my chest that um, it's like butterflies in your chest, but not excited butterflies. It's like nausea, anxious butterflies. I haven't woken up with that, which I was waking up with quite a bit. Um, she also did some hypno on, um, it's going to sound so bad but on sugar as well because I've become completely addicted to sugar which obviously goes hand in hand with anxiety and I haven't been exercising because I haven't been back to the gym since my accident um so putting all those things together obviously I put myself in a bit of a, a spot so last night I didn't actually go for any ice cream which is normal for a lot of people but not for me I could easily finish half a tub if not more of ice cream I can eat so much crap food because I'm just so addicted to it. So last night she did it to me. Not last night, yesterday she did it to me. And this morning I haven't actually... Oh, that's a lie. I've had a can of Coke Zero. But other than that I haven't like craved the sugar that I normally would crave. So I don't know. I'm, I think I'm just very optimistic and very hopeful and very open. Like my mind is very, very open to this kind of thing and I feel like it could help a lot of people so so far I'm gonna say so good um, I go back tomorrow for another session because I don't really think well she doesn't think one session will work so I'll have to have another couple I reckon and then I'll keep you in the loop after that over a few more blog updates in time but anyway Nolan's home and he's gonna think it's weird that I'm talking to myself whilst laying on the bed make sure you hit subscribe and like the videos if you want to see some more. Um, I'm going to try and do some more of these kind of things and yeah, connect with you guys on a different level.